Hello and welcome to today's lesson of 3D Drawing Remodel Railway. In today's lesson we're going to look at the chamfer tool and how you can apply that to a wagon to create an angled top edge. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a basic wagon shape. So I'm going to create a sketch on that surface and I'm going to use my centre point rectangle. Don't worry too much about the dimensions at the moment, I'm just going to pick them out of the top of my head. Um, I'm going for 16 mils wide, I'm going to say my wagon's going to be uh, 16 millimetres long. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is extrude that upwards. I'm going to say 10 millimetres to create my body. Right, so the next thing I want to do is going to create a rib round the top edge. So I'm going to just rotate this round, draw a sketch on the top edge. I'm going to go back to using that offset tool that we used previously. I'm going to offset the outside edge. And I'm, going to, I'm quite happy with that one millimetre that it's drawing. So the next thing I'm going to do is extrude downwards. And I'm going to extrude that down by two millimetres so the wagon's got some sort of bracing around the top edge okay um, right so the next thing I'm going to do is hollow it out okay so I'm going to create a sketch again on that top edge use the offset tool I'm going to come in by two millimetres and then I'm going to extrude that one down and click OK. Okay, it's starting to look a bit like a wagon now. So what I'm looking to do now is create a chamfer on this top edge, which is another way of drawing an angle. So previously what we've done, we've created a sketch on a face and then we've used a line and then we've come across on that line and then defined it. And then extruded that across all the way across the wagon. Okay, so now you would have your, your chamfered edge on that top edge there. Okay, now if you wanted to do that all the way around, you'd have to go creating a sketch for every single side. There is a quick and easy way to do that. So if I undo what we've done there, get rid of all that sketch. So if we come up to modify chamfer and then click on that edge okay and then hold down shift i can then go all the way around the wagon every time i click on an edge i'm selecting that edge and i'm going to chamfer it in and i can define the distance i'm going to go for 0.5 millimeters so which is the same as what the sketch was so i've now got that chamfered angle all the way around there um, you can do that to just eat one, maybe down the sides or the ends, whichever's needed. Um, it's it's up to you. You've got different things you can play around in here. So you've got equal distance. So we've got so that'd be 0.5 millimeter from the top, and 0.5 millimeter off the side. You can do two distances. So that would then create more of a, a flat angle. So this one's got 0.5 millimeter off of this edge, and then one millimeter off the top edge okay or you could go to distance and angle and then again you're playing with your distance and what angle you want to create there okay so again the, the tools are there you can play around achieve different things you can have different types of corners so you've got mic chamfers miters or blends um, and depending on what you select it would depend on what what outcome you would get down in the corner here okay um that's it for today's lesson nice and short i hope you enjoyed it if you have please like and subscribe thanks for watching